Hello, welcome to my creative life. Today I'm going to try to replicate some of these ideas that I got off of Pinterest. Um, they just inspired me to go to the Dollar Tree and to see what I can find to recreate these ideas that I just loved. Hopefully you stick around to the end of the video and see the end results and get inspired to go out and create your own. Okay, here for this first project, I am going to be tracing one of each of the three houses that the Dollar Tree has. I'm going to paint one blue, and the other two are going to be red and white stripes. And I'm going to kind of almost punch out the middle of each of those houses because I'm going to glue the shapes that I cut out onto the house. Okay, once it was all assembled, I did take my Cricut and created these decals that say Home of the Brave. If you don't have a Cricut cutting machine, um, you can easily take a Sharpie and recreate this look by hand. For this next project, I used a pool noodle, one of the 4th of July balloon holders, burlap ribbon, and the flag handkerchief. I cut three sizes out of the pool noodle um, just various sizes and I ended up wrapping them with the flag handkerchief. I used the stars and then the stripes. I lost the footage unfortunately of me assembling this all together once they were wrapped. I just ended up bunching them together, um, kind of dotting some glue on the sides to hold them in place and wrapped the burlap ribbon around them and I then got the balloon holder and cut off all of the little stars and I used my scissors to kind of score the wire of the main piece as you see here and just bent it back and forth and it snapped right off and then what I did with those is just stuck them in the middle of the pool noodles I used the pom-pom one on the biggest pool noodle and the other ones on the others. As you can see, this is the finished look. Some more items I picked up was this USA sign, this banner, and I got one of those long wooden pieces. Um, I did paint it white, and I'm going to be painting the banner three blue and three white and red stripes and I'm going to be painting the sign blue and wrapping that with some jute twine on the side. Okay, as you see here, I did paint three of the banner pieces blue and three with stripes. I did put a white base on all six of the pieces and I'm just going over now with my blue and kind of just giving it a distressed type look. I'm not going for perfection. And the same with my sign, I flipped it over and I believe I did three coats of my blue and it's just an acrylic, um, not a chalk paint, it's just an acrylic paint that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to sand and distress it first and then next I'm going to be taking my jute twine and just wrapping one of the sides. And again, I did use my Cricut to create a decal that said, God shed his grace on thee and I purchased a little bag of those glittered stars, um, cut one in half, painted them both white with chalk paint, and then went over one with red. Okay, for this next DIY, I'm going to take 20 of the jumbo popsicle sticks from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to be staining them with my special walnut from Minwax, and two of those sticks I'm going to be painting blue and another two I will be painting red. I am going to assemble them into a star and I am going to have four stars total. Now 
now I did take that burlap ribbon and I assembled two bows. I just held them in place together using a zip tie and wrapped some jute twine around them and I placed the bows on the two solid wood stars. So like I said earlier, I did paint two sticks blue and two sticks red and I went ahead and made two more stars using one of each color. Now I did purchase the hanging piece that had the three glittered stars. I disassembled it, turned the stars around and put a coat of white chalk paint. I put some blue stripes and a red decal that said USA. And here I'm just showing you the difference of one star sanded and one not and I just decided to sand them because I think it makes it look so much better just distressed and I also did the same with the white which it didn't make that much of a difference but the blue ones I just love the way they came out um, after I sanded them down I decided just to glue them all together with the blue starts in the back and the red up front and I got some Jenga pieces from the Dollar Tree and kind of made almost a kickstand using a few of them glued together. Okay, and to replicate the blocks that were in the beginning of the video, I found these games in the toy aisle and I painted them obviously red, white, and blue. I kind of distressed them a little bit with some red paint, some black paint, and some white paint on the red. Um, nothing too heavy, just a little um, dry brush kind of here and there. And I also sanded them down, which I wouldn't recommend going too heavy on because on the blue I kind of took off some of the paint um, but they ended up coming out pretty well and they are actually ended up being one of my favorite pieces. Alrighty so now I'm just going to be taking some jute twine and wrapping it around the boxes and I also cut some more stars in half and painted them and I'm going to be gluing them kind of like in between the twine um, later on I did see the original image and saw that the twine was kind of wrapped around and tied um, with the bow in the front so I just took an extra piece later and just did that okay I'm gonna take that white sign that I had painted earlier and just going to be adding some red stripes and then I'm going to shift my painters tape over once it dries and paint the other side blue I am going to distress it and then kind of add some black paint here and there and sand it off. I'm going to add my white stars using my vinyl decal and I also made a decal that said home sweet home. Now if you follow Dollar Tree videos on YouTube, I'm pretty sure you've seen this sign around. I just flipped it over, painted it red, white, and blue. And of course I made my decals that said family, fireworks, 4th of July. Um, I really wish I was able to write neatly, but my penmanship is horrible. So I kind of have to cheat and use my Cricut, which it comes in handy. Um, I also got that 
um, burlap ribbon that was left over from those glittered stars and I just wrapped it around here I seen this on some other signs off of Pinterest and so I just kind of combined the two and it also had a bow that was on top of the stars and I just added that onto the top here Okay, so this next idea actually wasn't from Pinterest, but I decided to get the 11 by 14 frame, the large flag, and I created a decal that said Old Glory. And I'm going to just kind of paint over the black with a little bit of white and just rub some off, as you see in this next clip, with a wet paper towel until I get the desired look that I'm going for. Okay, so once that's dry, I stick the flag in, and since the flag is pretty see-through, I decided to cut some poster board to size and stick that in between that and the back of the frame, and I just assembled it together, and once that was done, I add my decal. Okay, so this next look, it, it wasn't from my Pinterest, but I found this incense holder for 25 cents along with this star that I believe is missing a bell or something. Um, it was 25 cents as well at the Dollar Tree. And I decided to put this decal that said, God bless America, land that I love. I took the star and glued it behind the incense holder along with some Jenga pieces and made a sign and I gotta say this one turned out to be one of my favorites because it was just sort of an unexpected DIY I bought the two pieces because it was only gonna be 50 cents and I didn't know what I was gonna do with them I didn't even know I was gonna use them together um, and I decided just you know on the fly to come up with this look and I love it so I really loved my lemon plate that I had on display from the Dollar Tree and I decided to make a 4th of July one using this blue plate that I found. Uh, of course, I got my Cricut out and I made a decal that said Liberty, cut some white stars, and there you go, so simple. And this is the final look of all my pieces together. I even got to keep some of my lemon decor, which I love. And you know, this is my first time decorating for the 4th of July in our home and I am hooked. I will be doing this every year. It just sets us all off in the mood for 4th of July. My kids were so excited to see this up and so was I. And you know, it just makes me proud just to see all the red, white, and blue. And I hope you're inspired by one or all of these looks and go and create some of these for yourself. So comment down below and let me know which one of these DIYs was your favorite and inspired you. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye!